I am 150% sure I have some sort of tinsel in my hair. I do. Do you want some tinsel? Happy Christmas. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a What's On My iPhone video because this was really heavily requested even though I did do one um, in the summer but some of my apps have changed since then so I thought you'd want to see. What apps are on here? Um, I just have the Y iPhone 5S um, and you can see my camera in the reflection there um, and I have a case which is like holographic, you can't really see on here but it is like 3D and holographic, it does change um, and it's from H&M if you were wondering and um, my lock screen is just the same on both so it's like a frosty, frosty background ting. So on my front screen, um, as you can see, I have messages, calendar, photos, camera, iTunes, clock, notes, reminders, app store, settings, um, what do I have after that, weather, Safari, mail, phone, and then Twitter. If you want to follow my Twitter, um, I will link it in the description as it always is. Let me just put my phone on airplane mode because seriously getting so many notifications. Um, this is my Twitter, if you were wondering, it's Eve Bennett, um, as spelt on my channel and then an X. Um, I just hit 6k on Twitter so thank you so much for that. Um, but if you want to go follow my Twitter, please don't put me on notifications because I'm really annoying. Um, and then I have Gmail which is just for YouTube related stuff like my business email is in the description and um, that's just for YouTube related business things then I have a folder and in my folder it has all of my favorite blogs so my favorite blogs at the moment are my blog well, it's not my favorite but I have a link to it um, Sophie's Lauren's Keisha's Laura's Fleur's Alana's and Sophie's um, these are all amazing blogs and I would definitely recommend you check them out. I'll put the link to every single one of them in the description. Also go check out my blog if you didn't know I started a blog. I'm not sure how long it's going to last but we'll give it a shot. On the bottom bar I have FaceTime, Music, Facebook which is private, I'm really sorry. And then I have Instagram, obviously it's not going to load um, but my Instagram is Eve Bennett, can't even see. Eve Bennett with two X's instead this time. Um, I just hit 3.2k on Instagram so thank you very much for that. Um, you can go and follow me on there if you would like. Cheeky self promo there. And on my next like screen, I like to have everything organised in folders. So I have productivity, social, photography, other and stuff because I didn't know what to call it. Um, so my first folder is productivity and in here I just have all the apps that I use to be productive. Um, so I have calculator, then I have my fitness pal. If you want to hear about my fitness pal then go and watch my new year's advice video because I talk all about it in that video in quite a lot of detail. Then I have BBC News and I also have Pacer, QR Reader, HSBC, Podcasts, Photo Math and Just Eat. Um, Pace is just a pedometer, um, QR reader obviously is what it says on the tin, HSBC is for my debit card, podcasts I usually use that to listen to like Tyler Oakley's podcast, photo math is when you take a picture of a maths equation it'll tell you how to solve it, I use that when I'm trying to explain to my sister or something um, how to solve it and then Just Eat is to order takeaways. On the next slide thing, I have Network West Midlands, which is the transport app for where I live, so I know when the buses are coming. Um, PayPal is obviously pretty self-explanatory. Health is an app that came with the phone and I can't delete, but I think it monitors your heart rate and stuff. Um, feature points, um, I would give you my code and you'd get 53 points, but at the same time, like then I get half the points that you get, I don't know, it's hard to explain. So just go and do it yourself really, or else I'm going to get loads and loads of points, I don't want to be greedy. Um, and then I have Shazam, which obviously you probably heard of, it just when there's a song playing you Shazam it and it will tell you what song it is. Then my next folder is social, and in here a lot of my social medias are private, I'm really sorry. Um, I have Messenger, which is obviously private because it comes with Facebook. Then I have Snapchat. I'm really sorry this is private at the moment. I am going to make a public one at some point um, if you guys would like that. It's just I will probably never update it. 
WhatsApp, again, private, um, it's just a messaging app. Um, YouTube obviously isn't private because that's what I'm on right now. Um, as of filming this, I have 12,275 subscribers, so thank you so much, that is crazy. And then I have Tumblr and Vine, which I never use. I don't even know why they're still on my phone. Then I have Starbucks, which is just, um, for if I get a Starbucks gift card, I can put it on there. Um, I never get Starbucks gift cards anymore. I got one and that was it. Sad face. Um, and then I have YouTube Studio, which is just basically create a dashboard for your phone. So in the last um, month, I've had 67,000 views, which is insane. 250,000 minutes watched, which is even more insane and 2.5k subscribers so thank you so much um, I just use this to track comments and stuff if I'm out and about and I can't go on the YouTube app and then I have my photography folder and this is the folder that everybody's been asking me about basically this is what I use to edit my Instagram photos and the only app I ever really use for my Instagram is Afterlight which is the first one here basically that's an edit photo I've just edited before it's a screenshot from one of my um, videos so I'll edit it again for you to show how I did it. So basically you just choose what photo you want and in this case I wanted a photo from my November, no not November favourites, what is it called? End of year favourites um, and this is just a screenshot from the video, um, if you've watched that then you'll know what part this is from. Um, and usually I will just use the filter Rust, which is my favourite filter, and then I will up the exposure a little bit. And this is literally all I ever do to my Instagram photos. That's, that's basically that's basically what I do. But there's so many options on here. You can do white borders, you can do dust leak, light leak, everything. And, and it is it does cost money, but it's literally the best app I've tried. Um, and then I have Pixar and Photo Collage, which are both like editing collage apps. Um, they're sort of used to like put people's faces on other faces and like put it all into a collage. Then I have square ready video which is for when you have a video that's not a square but you want to put it on Instagram so you can put like the white borders around it. And then I have Von, a lot of you have asked me what I used to edit my front screen. Um, I don't use it anymore really um, but when I did videos like my autumn lookbook and things like that I used Von all the time. So that is what I used for that and then I have Pic Collage which is another photo collage app which I used to edit my thumbnails for Vlogmas if you wanted to know. Then I have Fonto which is the, exactly the same as Vont um, apart from the fact that it, um, oh, it doesn't move, it's not like a video one, it's just for photos. And then I have an other folder and this is just a folder of stuff that I didn't really know where to put. So I have contacts, which is obviously just my phone contacts, and then I have a countdown, which is a countdown up, obviously, by the name. Um, so it's just got all of my exciting things that are happening this year, like Centre Parks, PGL, San Francisco and One Direction. I need to put London and Devon on there, I just keep forgetting to. But I love like being able to count down like how long it is to exciting events. Then I have Google Translate, which is obviously just for when I mess up on my language homework. Time hop, which shows what you posted this time one year ago, two year ago, three year ago on social medias, um, which is very embarrassing. Um, Polygram is an app where you can take your pictures off your phone and get them sent to you in Polaroid form. I used to have them up on my lights above my um, bed. Um, you, if you want to hear more about that, then go and watch my September favourites because I talk loads about this app because it was my favourite app in September. I had loads printed off. Um, then I have find iPhone, obviously that is pretty self explanatory, that is just what you use to find your iPhone when it's lost. And then I have EE which is just my phone carrier app. And then I have this last folder which has got stuff in apparently. Um, so the first app I have is followers plus which is for Instagram. And all this does is I can see how many followers I've got, how many likes I've got, how many ghost followers I have. Um, followers gained, followers lost, followers I'm not following back, which is way too many. Um, users not following me back, three users blocking me, which I'm going to find out. You have to pay for that, but I think I might pay for it because I have an iTunes voucher. So I want to see who's blocking me. Um, and yeah. Then I have We Heart It, which is just Tumblr, but a bit more girly. Then Just Unfollow is the exact same as the Instagram app, but for Twitter. 
Then I have SimCity, which is an app that is like seriously addictive. It's basically like the one on the PC, but it's just for your phone and it's free. I would definitely recommend that app if you want to get addicted to a new game. Then I have Crossy Road, which is another really frustrating app. It's even more frustrating than Flappy Bird, and it's basically you've got to like cross the road, but there's so many obstacles, it's literally impossible. Then I have iTube. iTube is an app that I use to download um, YouTube videos when I'm in the car or something so I can watch them without using up all my data. And then Blogger and Blog Loving are both apps for my blog. I use Blogger to create my blog and Blog Loving is to like follow other people's blogs. Um, finally I have this app of stuff that the phone won't delete. So I have Compass, Game Center, Passbook, Voice Memos, which I do use to record my voiceovers if you're wondering why they're better quality than the laptop. Um, newsstand, Maps, Emoji Express, which I do use but like it has no value to me. Um, stocks, Videos and Tips, Books and iVault, which is a password app. So basically that is everything that's on my iPhone. Um, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for 12k, that is bloody mental. I just never even thought I'd get 12 subscribers, let alone 12k. But yeah, thank you so freaking much and I will see you very soon with a new video which you should leave requests for in the comments. So I will see you very soon.